We are here at the V Performance Centre for Excellence, otherwise known as Big Dave's Driveway, and today, what are we doing? Drifting. It's diff time. So today... In the drift lab. Today, we're... we're in Big, Dave's <laughs> we're Big Dave's Drift Lab. Big Dave's Drift Lab, which is a plastic table and a half a bin bag. <laughs> today is rear-wheel drive conversion day, or at least the first day where we find out whether it's going to work or not. Stage one. Stage one is get the gearbox dropped down and try and swap out the centre disc wheel for this one. Get the oil of the gearbox. Get. So that is all welded around the top. And the inside is also welded so that... You can see inside. Yeah, we're not able to see inside there. But you can trust us that it's in there and this is welded into a single unit rather than having spidery gears and stuff inside there. And then this is for the rear diff. It is hosed in steel. That is going nowhere. And so that makes our rear diff locked as well. So by buying spares, uh, that made this job easier because it meant that Dave has been able to weld these on the bench. And now I have brought the car here. I will now stop using it and it will be, uh, it will be rear wheel drive and welded diff clunking from here on out. Right, let's get this thing on the ramps. I'm excited. Are you excited, Dave? I'm solid. I'm excited. <laughs> well, at least the two and a half people are excited. Tremendous. Right, talk me through the protocol here. We've removed this piece of under tray for a start. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm a socket. Out of 15. Anyway, wait, yes. Uh, that so, bit of trim off. Yep. And then, uh, do you say we're taking the exhaust off? I'm going to take off this bit of exhaust, it'll just make my life so much easier. Give us some more room, and we're planning on fixing some leaks in the exhaust anyway. Yes, that'll, exactly. that'll make Rennie happy. That'll go come off, and then we can get the exhaust out. Your pop shaft off and out. Well, we don't know, we could put it swing down enough. So we're removing that cross bracket thing. That one, I think. Um, do we need the one that's further forward of it? Uh, no, I think we'll leave that one just now. Okay. I think. And that's to get us a transfer, transfer case. And, and bind all that shit. And bind all that as a transfer case. That's what we need into. And then we just take off that back bit. Yes. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Even so much is damaged. I've got a black ring around my face now. <laughs> okay, oh! I need someone to roll this car backwards for me. Why? Uh, well, the other option is you jack the back end up and then spin it so I can turn the differential round a bit so I can get to their bolts, or we could just roll it back four inches. Oh. Just to let you get to the bolts. Yeah, much easier. Oh, cool. No right. drive shaft bolts are you removing, Dave? Four of. Right, go forwards again. Oh, still these are two bolts. Forward. Forward, please. Okay. I'll do. I'm on a bit. This shouldn't fall out and have it in the head. Oh, well, I did. That's nice. There's a very intimate moment happening right now where Dave and young Paul are underneath the car um, while he grips his shaft also oh gently. Paul, do you have a firm grip on his shaft? I do. Got it in both hands, is that big? To me, to you. Oh, it should come all the way down. There you go. One drive shaft? One drive shaft. Oh no, it's slowly it's dripping oil. Shaft. It's bigger than I'm used to. It's a big shaft. Oh yeah, it's, it's hosing oil at the end. Do you need a bucket or something? It's got a bit of a, and they both have. Yes. So that, I'm hearing a bit of a clunk No, that was, that was just me hitting it, but it's 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 not a you file that you feel it. Oh yeah, it's it like should, it's... Yeah, it should be nice and smooth. Right, alright. So it feels sticky when you move it around. So, two UGs as well. Yes. Wow, this uh, project's getting expensive. But, wait, wait. Maybe I should just, I'll price a carbon fibre prop while I'm at it, I might as well. Hey! Oh, that was... Ah, is that? Oh, that does come off. Right, so what was that part? Just another piece of crossman. Another piece of crossman. Right. Okay. But I think that's us in enough that we can undo... Transfer case. Yes. But right. we'll get a look at that from the back, would you? I can stop charging now, I've taken my head off. Stop fucking dripping at me. Sorry, sorry YouTube, I didn't mean to swear. 
Um, what we are doing here, I'm here to take credit for Dave's uh, linkage removal. He just unbolted this, which is attached to the bottom of the gear stick here. Um, so it is moving freely. This thing, that is a pair and gear shift bushing, except it's all flopsy. Why, what's the point in buying an upgraded shifter bushing if it's still floppy? Anyway, um, that comes off because we're just trying to get space enough so that we can get into these transfer casing bolts. Because if we can get these off, we can swap that centre differential out without taking the gearbox off the car. That's what we want. We might have to drop it a little bit more, but we just need to get these bolts off. Def out, def in. Yeah, boy. But to do that, Paul out, Dave in. Oh, for a two post round. Oh. oh, it's moving. It's moving, boys. What are you moving? Two springy roll pins. Right, now, does that slide out of the way enough that it comes off? Oh, fuck yes, boys. She's totally off. Right, okay. So this doohicker here, this is attached to your gear lever. It's got the two springy roll pins, you just saw me hammer out up the middle of it and then once you've hammered them out, it just wiggles back out of the way enough and it goes out of the way. And then all I've got to do is undo all these bolts around the perimeter and pop that end off, get drowned in smelly gearbox oil and we're good to go. What, does, what particular smell are we dealing with here? Cat piss, it's always cat piss. Dave has requested the ladies' choice extra long 16mm extension. Thanks. How long till the cat piss comes out? Soon. I don't feel like I'm going to fucking cover the cat piss. Oh yeah. So you're just trying to crack it open so that the oil can start coming yeah. out? But without fucking getting covered getting splashed in it. Cover your mouth and nose. Try not to breathe. I also try not to crack it, which is very important. We've got a spare. This is true. Now we're cooking with peanut oil, boys. Yeah. Right, there's no way I'm going to keep my balance for this. <laughs> this is fucking shite. Put it down. <laughs> David. Why, why do you smell like cat pee? <laughs> uh, my, good, my good body bomber overalls. Ah, we all. We've come this far. <laughs> we're, we're all just standing back now because there's gearbox oil dribbling everywhere. Dave's had a hosing. I don't want a hosing. The ground's all wet. <laughs> it's, all, it's all gone from bad to worse down there. Right, what do we have to not fall in the bucket, the guy said? Uh, there are two gear rod things, I don't know what the fuck you call them. Oh, sploosh! Right, young Paul, you go grab something. You should just... I don't know if I'm going to go for it. Oh, let me just... Right, there's the one then. You got... Right, that's a bit. Okay. You got two? Yeah, they're both the... Fucking yes. There you go. 35 kilos. Oh, she's a heavy gun. Yeah, boy. Right. Put that one back in and seal back up. <laughs> That's basically it. That is it? it? Yes, that is. Put all the balls back in. Get yep. it all snoochy boochy. Gasket. Mm. Bit squishy gasket onto it. Put it back on. Biff, buff, buff. Rear wheel drive. This is it. All welded up. Are those, uh, 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 well, let's just confirm, are these identical? It's very similar. Identical. I know, which one's which? Oh, it's one the one with all the weld on it. The welds on it. Right. So, uh, that just to be goes back in a hole. Ah, it's heavy as fuck. Ah, there's a hole in there somewhere. Oh, there she goes. Ta-da. Next step in the process. Gleaney, gleaney. Get all the old gas get off. Mm. Where is that? Is that the troublesome dowel? There's one. No, there's another one. There's corner. one there. There's one there. They're just little stubby dowels. That... But they're made of steel! Steel plus aluminium equals... Galvanic corrosion! And the thing jams in. Right. And it won't come out easily, which is why I've just been battering on it for the last 20 minutes, even though you're not supposed to. There really was no choice. Good 
Is that the dowel you're putting in? That was. <laughs> Dave's gonna actually use a torque wrench and like put measured numbers onto this thing. Where's my, where's my, where, where my, where's my, where's my phone, boys? Oh, yeah. All the sunk, so while we're going hard and we're in the middle of the road to avoid the other bumps in this area, we're using like that. Oh, yeah. Box. Oh, shit. How much you get? If you could find them. Nine bolts. Or 11 bolts. Yes. Nine or 11 bolts. Torqued up to how many torques? 40. 40 Newton meters. Oh, there you go. Sweet. That might be the only time you ever hear us refer to actual torque settings until we're stripping an engine. Which is his I engine, I believe, is I next. I've got my blue bolts. Do you? Yeah. How many torques do you talk them to? I can't remember. <laughs> I think it's a <laughs> different every time. Yes. Okay, that's that. Start her up. Start her up. Assembly is the reverse of removal. It is. Sometimes. Except with less hammering. Hopefully less hammering. Right, it's getting late, centre diff is now done. That was uh, that was the bit I was worried about most, but that seems to have gone relatively smoothly. Uh, we'll wrap this video up. That is technically, would you say that's technically it's now rear wheel drive? Yes. If, if, if we connected the drive shaft. If you put the prop shaft back in, it would be rear wheel drive just now. So the next step is to get that gold diff into the back of the car and then it will be proper rear wheel drive, but we'll do that in the next video. For now, it's dark because it's too dark to film anything, and we don't want to be that guy filming in the dark. Um, <laughs> does that, yeah, that guy does exist. Yeah. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for watching. Next video will be linked at the end here, and we will go full, full. We will go full, send. full send, full, full send. rear wheel drive, and then we're gonna have real wheel, real, real. We're gonna real, 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 wheel wheel, drive. <laughs> real wheel drive, and then I guess we just gotta find somewhere that we can actually go skid it. Yep. It doesn't, hopefully it doesn't go bang. If only we knew a fella that had a drift track. Thank you for watching. Let us know in the comments section below if uh, you have any questions about what we just did. I have, I have questions <laughs> about what we just did. <laughs> and why we just did it. Right, thank you for watching everyone. Goodbye. Tune in again. Bye.